Welcome back to another uh, video about Death Watch and the various parts of the Death Watch army and how they're worth it or not worth it. Next, we're going to be talking about the Watch Captain. I've got uh, one of the ones I built up here, uh, Sergeant Rock. And first I'll go just go over the basics of the Watch Captain. He's 95 points, significantly less than the Watch Master's 175. Uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill, strength, toughness is the same, 6, 5, 4, 4. He's got three wounds, so one less wound. Initiative is the same at 5. One less attack at 3. Leadership 10, save is 3+. plus. So whereas the Watch Master has a 2+, plus, the Watch Captain has a 3+. plus. But other than uh, that, wounds and attacks being one less, he is basically the same. Um, at 95 points versus 175, so 80 points less. Uh, he comes with a bolt pistol, close combat weapon, frag grenades, crack grenades, iron halo, and special issue ammunition. Now you can give him a bolt gun for free which is probably a good choice for the most part. Uh, gives him better range and uh, works better with a special issue ammunition. He can take anything from the melee weapons, range weapons, special issue war gear, and relic relics of the Vigilant. So you can put relics on this guy, which is good. And he's really... I guess he's meant to be like the primary HQ that you would use because of his versatility. Uh, you can put a jump pack on him, like I've done Sergeant Rock here. Artificer armor. They can take a storm shield, so you can get a three up save. Although for the 15 points, that's a so-so because -so, he already has an island iron ha iron halo. Sorry, and a four up save. So mm, you make more three up saves and four ups, but it's kind of like uh, you know, is is it worth that points? That's That just depends on what you're going to do with him, I think, at that point. He can take the Xenophase Blade, which eh, you may or may not want to do that with him, depending on how you're kidding him out. Uh, you can put him in Terminator Armor for 25 points, and that is something I would not do with my Wedge Captain ever. Um, one, there's only three benefits to that. Number one is it gives you a 5-up invul. You already have a 4-up with your Iron Halo. Number two, it gives you two-up armor save. You can get a two-up armor save with Artificer armor for 20 points, saving yourself five points. And you don't have the, uh, the negatives of not being able to uh, uh, sweeping advance. Now, the only other benefit Terminator armor gives you is it allows you to deep strike, but you can gain the deep strike through the formation in the Death Watch. So... So I, I don't think I would ever use Terminator armor on a Watch Captain personally. Not an option I would choose. You can give him a Relic Blade for 10 points if you want. And really those kind of things give you options. The Watch Captain is a lot of options. Now let's look at Sergeant Rock here. Kitted out as I got him. He's got a Plasma Pistol, a Grab Pistol, a Jump Pack, and I will put him in Artificer Armor to give him the 2-up save most of the time. I don't have to. You can put him in a 3-up save. But kit it out like that, I believe he came to... Let's just do it real quick. 10, 20... Uh, that's 115. 135. 40, 150. Something like that. Let's go over it again yet. Wait a minute. I said those were 10 points. No, they're 15 points. So 15, that's 30 for the 15 and 15, that's 30. Another 15 for the jump pack is 45. Artist's Fisser Armor is 65. So 160. 15 points less than the Watchmaster. And almost like him. He's 2-up save, 4-up invul, uh, 2 close combat weapons that have decent range, and really good movement on him. Kitted as I have him. So, But you can go with just a base watch captain. Switch him out with a bolt gun. And he's just a really better um, veteran. Give him a power sword maybe. 
and for Death Watch that would be uh, 15 points. So he'd come in at 110, which is pretty decent. At weapon skill 6, 3 attacks. Uh, keep him with his bolt pistol if you wanted to make him close combat. So, yeah, there is so many ways to kit him out. Now, the other thing we need to talk about, let me, he'll jump out of the way. I'm going to put my man here. Oh. Artemis. Yes, Artemis. Now, my man Artemis, watch Captain Artemis, is 145 points. And what you get for that is the standard Watch Captain stat line. He has a power sword. And he has a special combi bolter that basically can fire the combi all the time. It's a combi is basically a flamer template template that's strength one, not great. AP5, assault one, poison two plus. So it wounds on a two plus. And you get a stasis bomb, which is a single D-strength AP1 attack. But if he misses it, he hits himself with it, so that's kind of bad. He also gets Fearless and Feel No Pain. Feel No Pain 6 Plus is a... It is. It just is, right? Maybe you use it, maybe you don't. Take a sip here. It's, I mean, it's going to be the one-off you get that 6 up, but... Hey, it's there. It might save you a wound. You never know. Plus, with him, uh, you automatically get the Vigilance Incarnate Warlord trait, which lets you change your mission tactics one extra time. So, if you really want to make that your Warlord trait, that's like the one you want to get, then you could choose him for that. Sorry, I'm kind of sniffly today. All in all, he's good if you want... If you want a kind of um, middle of the ground kind of watch captain, you need not, something that's a little bit, what do I want to say, he's got versatility. He's very versatile. He's got the range with just the special SU ammunition in his bolter. And then he has the template so he can take out lots of uh, low toughness creatures or low saves. So you got a bunch of Tyranids or Orcs or something like that. He's going to do some decent damage with that template weapon. And you can use him to, you know, do a D-strength attack in close combat versus a vehicle or a heavy walker. He's got that ability too. Put him with the right group and you can, you can do a lot with him. So he's a good choice at 145 points to lead your army. So if you have him, he's a good choice. So as far as watch captains go, let me put this down here out of the way. Uh, there's a lot you can do with them. They are good, good choices if you're building your army um, around the Death Watch and you want kind of a strong warlord. Now some of the other choices are cheaper, but they're way, way more limited. Not as many choices. So Watch Captain, I think the best thing about the Watch Captain is you can, it, it embodies the epitome of what Death Watch is as a Death Watch army. And that is virtu versatility and unlimited customizable customizability. If that's a word. <laughs> and that's what that uh, what the Death Watch is. Because you can kit um, your Watch Captain out to be solely a um, close combat guy. Because he can take um, a Thunder Hammer Storm Shield. He can take... Dual pistols, like I've got my guy. He can take a pistol and a power weapon. You could stick him... Uh, I mean, he can take... Um, melt -a bombs Teleport Homers, Digital Weapons. He can take a Death Watch Shotgun if you wanted him to, because that's a special... No, no, he can't. Special Issue Worker, not Special Weapon. He can take... Um, any with the combi weapons, if you want to do that. Combi Melta, Plasma, or Flamer. Although that might not be the greatest. It's 10 points for that. And give him a Storm Bolter. 
I think technically you can give him two storm bolters. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, he can replace his bolt pistol with a bolt gun. And then it says may take items from the melee weapons. So model may replace his bolt gun, bolt pistol, and or melee weapon with one of the following. So yeah, I guess you could take two storm bolters. That would be kinda of cool. I haven't thought about that. That'd be kind of a cool little guy. Not that it'd do you any good, you could only use the one. But just as a modeling aspect, that would be awesome. Uh, he could take lightning claws, power weapons, power fists, just like normal captains. One thing that he can take that I don't think would I ever take is combat shield for five points because he's already got a four up involved. What do you need a six up involved for? It's kind of weird. But um, being able to take relics is another one too. Some of the relics are really good. Alright, sorry if this was a little bit rambly. But um, I just wanted to make sure I got this off here in the middle of the day while everybody's either asleep or gone. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, as far as the Wedge Captain, if I had to choose, if someone put put it in, put in front of me the choice, either or, Wedge Master or Wedge Captain, I would go with the Wedge Captain 95% of the time. Just because of versatility. And you can really get him close to the survivability of the Wedge Master um, with, with, at lesser points cost. The well, only thing that the Watchmaster uh, excels at is really taking out um, walkers and vehicles. If you need a guy to do that in some kind of specialized unit against a certain opponent or something, then that would work, or in a certain meta that might work. Whereas you've seen a lot of walkers, heavy walkers, big vehicles and stuff, and you need somebody to do that, get the Watchmaster, get the uh, Relic um, Clavis, and just tear them apart tear them apart other than that I would go with the Wedge Captain for general stuff now there are specialty builds that some of the other HQs fit in and we will discuss those when we get there let me look at the book who's going to be next the Chaplain so we'll discuss the Chaplain next alright guys if you like this video give me a thumbs up comment in the comment section if you have a question or just want to discuss this I'll answer as quick as I can Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed, that always helps, and when you do subscribe, click that bell icon and click the little checkbox so you get updates, because YouTube says you should do that. And uh, share the videos around, that really helps. Alrighty guys, I will talk to you later.